Okay. So, uh, we went to the Belk. We went to the local Belk here in North Carolina. First of all, check my fit. I didn't really do any garden work today. Um, I, actually, I did. I put on the same clothes I had yesterday, and I watered some plants. That's all I did today. But in terms of, like, hard garden work and doing anything, I just put on clothes to go to the stores. The local, you know, next town over, whatever. Um, we went to the Belk. My mother's first time at the Belk. And we got clothes. They had a we, we went to clearance. I, I got the forty percent off coupon. Would apply. It didn't on top of clearance. That's cool. Whatever. I think I got two shirts, but apparently she got me one shirt. It is this or one jacket. It's a XXL chaps. It's a denim. It's a stretch. We love that. Um, so I already have my pants tucked in. I did, you know, since I wasn't I'm coming out here to look at my plants. Um, so now I'm going to be out here for a while. So I did tuck my pants in and I did spray. Because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go outside to spray. She's like, no, 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 I got clothes for you. Try that on. So here's what we're doing. It says go untucked. I think I can just put this over. Excuse me. Oh, the flies. Oh, oh. Excuse me, ma'am, I was going to say. But, oh my gosh, the flies. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's giving fashion. It's giving fashion over function. Actually, it's it's pretty functional. Let me see. Do we, we have actual pockets. Oh, nice. Actual pockets, ma. Okay. Oh, look at this. Because I do work around the farm. This is my keys for the tractor around the farm. This is the, my keys to the farm building around the farm. Look at this. Okay. Chops. Now this was red. So it was 70% off of 65, whatever that is. I think 48 something came off, if I remember. So this should have been like uh, 17 or 15. I don't know. Anyway. Round the farm. 15. Round the farm. Brown, the farm. And you already know about the, these boots. Um, I did wear them today when I was watering, I will say. And I, again, as, as I do have now, I have them sockless. And it was mighty windy today. There's a lot of sand in my boots, presumably for the wind. So that's all I got to say on that. So we're going to do a quick look through and everything. Um, I came through this morning. I didn't get a chance to water these plants like I wanted to yesterday. So... <sighs> I wire them a lot today. Here told me they come back. If I could, I would wire them tonight, but I think I'm going to be rushed again. Mm. Um, I don't know that the uh, Calabricoa, the yellow Calabricoa are going to come back. Okay. The Verbena is spreading, and I love that for her. That's dirt from the other soil. Yeah, they're both. It's just roots. Just let it die and add itself to the soil. Anyway, um... So I, apparently dahlias are great for growing on septic fields. So I'm thinking I'm going to grow it somewhere here, but I'm not sure because I don't necessarily want to come out and it's like, oh, random orange. Um, I feel like I'm going to end up planting it somewhere along the septic field. Because um, apparently they don't grow super, they have fragmented root system as well, I think I was said. Not like, even, even though I have the tubers, not super deep. So I might just mount up some soil and pot it up there. I don't know. Um, yeah, I also don't want orange to be the first thing you see from the field. I'm sure my mother wouldn't mind that, though. So, there's that. So, keep moving along. Um, but purple really is just naked eye or sunglasses. It's the first thing you see, and it's great. Mm. I do think I wanted to mention that I had potted up the pineapple sage. And I think the pineapple sage can grow, like, feet high so that's gonna be a plant ma you need to plant up some more soil around some of these uh, marigolds some of these marigolds have roots exposed those geese i can't tell what they are here's a plant did i water this today i think i did um anyway the hibiscus is leaning back don't love that 
Can I lean it forward? I don't, I don't know. Um, but there go the Supertunia Lovey Dovey. I think they work great together. The purple of the Lovey Dovey really underlines the pink. I think it's because the purple itself is highlighted by the white of the Lovey Dovey. Okay, good on you. I did move the gardenia out of the way because apparently it is a part shade plant. And I don't know why I didn't know that off the top of my head, but I didn't. Uh, things are looking a bit dry here, but it's also looking like it's going to rain. I don't know. Um, look at that score. Wow. Wow. So many flies around me. Oh my gosh. It's because there's rugs here that need to be washed because dogs exist. So this is booking perk. Before this morning, it was looking like it was a bit farther back. Looks like it's settling in. Love that for us, because it's a, it's a group effort, right? Here go the hibiscus. Also has to be watered up. Same hibiscus that was like not looking great. Maybe still not looking great, but we're gonna give it time. We're gonna give them time to acclimate. Again, let's look at this now that it's not in the sun. This, is this how it is? What a lovely ruffly structure. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't, because I'm an international harvester, on my international harvester, I didn't water my evening primrose, and I think it's going to be fine. She's going to be fine. Look at that purple. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the flies. Now, I saw some new growth coming up off of this, but there's also some new growth at the base. So, all this that's just right that can come off, I will help it. If it, oh, it's slimy. Yuck. Maybe I should have left it. Anyway, something is tugging in there, so it's well rooted. I don't know about this green one, but here's hoping. And here's waiting, because I'm gonna wait. Because I know you can come back and do the best that you can do. Be the best that you can be. Wow. Uh, the vision I had of the purples and the reds and pinks is a coming together. See, we do have yellow. It's just like a nice silent silent highlight. And that's fine because I think the yellow in the front bed, the cover in the front bed is dying off anyway. So what are you going to do? Anyway, the peppermint perked up. It's looking great. Love that for her. Um, now I need a spearmint to do the same because spearmint, you're my fave. We already know this. You've been on this. Is this dead? Can I? Okay, I don't. We'll have to work for the spearmint. And you're like, but Liliana, why aren't you doing anything? Why aren't you hands on the ground? Why are you in casual wear, gloveless? I have a thing to do today. I'm, I'm entering... Oh, the stupid pentis! First of all... Because I've got, I've got pockets now, so... <laughs> anyway, I got a pentis. I don't want to do anything today. I don't want to do anything... To Lies are around me. I got a pentis, this lovely pink purple. Google said that pentis don't have deep roots, so I could, if I wanted to, put it on the. I think I feel better about that than I would the dahlia putting this in the in the field. I have to get a shovel. Let's see where it might go. And before I forget, my gladiolus are coming up. I don't. I've only seen one. <laughs> they're coming up oh my gosh oh so also 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 if you say anything about my skin being dry you're anti everything um you know like it statement there's a gladiolus we're gonna come up 
is gonna be a spray of purples and purples and pinks and reds and yellows but mostly purples and reds with the gladiolus and the dutch iris oh my goodness i don't know what's going on with the hibiscus the question is do i want to put this i kind of do i think i want to just put this here right let's just i don't want to dig all the way over here it's so far i just don't want my alleyway to be that wide oh my gosh let's see I don't want it to be, no, that's too, that's not, it's not aligned with the bed one. I don't know where I want this to go. I think I just have to leave it be for a while while I figure out where it's going to go. Because I don't think I'm going to figure out today. Anyway, the Pentis gets, what does it say? Let's say. 8 to 22 inches high, 18 wide. So a little under 2 feet high. Possibly. And 18 inches wide. So a nice little shrub-like habit. If anything, I want it in line with the tire. If anything. Because it has... I think that's probably where it's going to go, actually. So, But am I going to dig today? I think probably not. Or I put it behind the dahlia. I take out a chickweed and I put it behind the dahlia. I think I'm going to do that. Ma, do you have the hand spade? What? You have the hand spade? Yeah. Okay. All right. I got to get gloves. But also right now, let me move. Let me move this. You are not doing well, friend. You are just not living your best life here. So... You are getting relocated. A new home for you. Or maybe it was doing great because look at all that new growth there. <sighs> Should I have relocated it? <sighs> I'm just going to put it somewhere over here. I think I'm just going to put it somewhere over here. Okay, somewhere over here. It looks like we... Oh my, that flies. Looks like we know what our colors are. Looks like we're red. Looks like we're red. Okay, that should be fun. Um, we're gonna leave it here for now. Wish I could make the hole deeper. But I'm not really pressed. Coming! And so I took the geranium and it's on the east side of the house now. Um, and I considered putting the pentis over there by the armaria, you know, because essentially the I am still waiting for them to die back to the ground so I can cover it with some other annual. But also, I feel like the, like the arena is just going to flow out over there. Also, that would be too big. I have a lot of things growing there, and I think a possible 18-inch spread was too big over here. So, what we did actually was put it over here by Chickweed Way. Chickweed Alley? Chickweed Alley, I think works better. Chickweed Alley. You see, I took out all the, all the other weeds, and the chickweed has kind of just spreading. And maybe I will. Maybe I will let the chickweed spread. I don't know yet. Maybe I'll, I'll I mean, I probably will only take it out as I need, as I want or need to. I think I definitely need to water this though. So anyway, we're going to have a pink abutting the purple. But this also is kind of like a pink that's kind of in the purple family. It's almost like a fuchsia to my eyes. Okay, so let me get ready to water. I might, little, well, I might do a little bit of weeding. I think that's it for me for today. Yeah. I just took the hibiscus out, but I don't know if this is a root. Or not, so I'm gonna try and squish it back in there. And let's move it. Let's give it a chance to move it to where the other heights basically were. So now we have more divots. I think the between you're still alive. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna put it there. It's getting light, but it's partially sitted maybe by the <laughs> gutter thing. And it gets the easterly light. Okay, and this weed, I see it. I always take it out. I will always. I don't know what it is, but you're not getting bigger than this. Thanks. It grows laterally. No. Okay, I'm going to try water in my pocket. I don't know if that's going to work at all. Try and lean forward and down towards the plants. Hold on. Yeah. No, it's not. The red dot. 
That, the Amelies. Yeah. That's not it. That's, That's how you tell? Yeah. I do. Do you also not love it? Do you not also love your garden? That I love what exactly? I love that. Watering my garden? Yeah. Tending my plants? Yes. Okay. Like okay. <sighs> now I'm holding it. Okay. The plants, I don't know if anything can be seen. Come back to life. Come back to life, Petunia. Okay, we're starting to muddy up some things here, so. I have to be really careful, especially over here, because this is where all the gladiolus are. Um, I have to be really careful with the weeding process. So that's not to disturb the gladiolus. I think I might have actually ripped off the sheath of one of them, but. Roots are still in there. You can grow another sheath, I think, right? Is the idea. Oh, hold on. I got it from my mama. <laughs> I got it from my mama. Tell me when you think it's enough. Never enough? Never too much? Never enough! Ma, did you not pot these plants over here? This is what You see now the white things on top of the surface are just crushed eggshells. No fungus. Okay. No, I'm saying for whoever might be watching or for future reference. Oh, you're talking about that. Yes. I know you know. Me and the dogs have eaten the eggs, so we've provided that service. Mm. The circle of life. You eat the egg, you use the eggshell to make more food for yourself. It's a selfish circle of life, but... <laughs> Okay. I think it's gonna rain. Why? Those look like could be storm clouds to me. Would love if they are. Also, I guess it's just approaching. No, because sunset should be that way. So like, why? Okay. Anyway. No, actually I'm right. It said 50 to 60% chance of precipitation um, for the next two hours. So that's me and my country's girl skill. No, I had it. I've, I've been a rain watcher since little, so. Ominous, ominous storm clouds they brew. They are in the distance. I, I'm reading up on, on North Carolina weeds and some of them I know, like this is some type of weed. But it also looks like grass, so like, what do I care? <sighs> the flies. I enjoy my garden too much. Oh, okay. If you like garden things and you enjoyed this video, you better subscribe.
Cause you're not gonna remember my channel name Whoa If you like nonsense You better hit that subscribe button Or watch this video Or that video Or maybe there's a playlist here I don't know what I'm gonna put Oh yeah